Ever heard of the CCI indicator? No, it's not about commodities only, it's way more versatile than it sounds. Today we're diving into what the CCI really is, how it works, and how you can use it in a smart strategy that mixes technicals with price action. Let's get into it. So where does the CCI come from? It stands for Commodity Channel Index. It was developed in the early 1980s by a guy named Donald Lambert. He originally designed it for commodity markets, hence the name. But traders quickly realized it works on stocks, forex, crypto, you name it. About the formula. Don't worry, I'll keep it simple. CCI equal to this. Where typical price is the average of high, low, and close. SMA is the 20 simple moving average of that typical price. And the mean deviation equal to this equation. You see, it's very simple. This indicator is designed so that 70 to 80% of its values typically fall between minus 100 and plus 100. Let's now talk about how to interpret the CCI. First, we need to compare it with the RSI and the stochastic. Here you can see all three indicators on the chart. They're all momentum oscillators, but there are some key differences. The first one is how they define overbought levels. For the CCI, it's typically above plus 100. For the RSI, it's above 70. And for the stochastic, it's above 80. Same goes for oversold levels. They vary across each indicator, as you can see. But the biggest difference is this. While the RSI and stochastic are bounded between 0 and 100, the CCI is unbounded. It can go well above plus 100 or below minus 100. Let's jump into trading view to visualize this better. For example, here on the S&P 500, the CCI dropped to minus 388 during the Trump tariffs panic. On the other hand, it climbed above plus 200 at this level. You have to know that these extreme values can signal strong momentum worth following. That's why it's often better to use the CCI as a trend indicator rather than a reversal tool. In fact, as we can see in this screenshot, when the CCI is above plus 100, it often confirms a strong momentum and then a bullish trend. So, to gain an edge in the financial markets using the CCI, you need to follow the signals. Go long when the CCI is above plus 100 and go short when it drops below 100. All right, now let's look at a winning strategy. It combines CCI with price action. But first, let's quickly recall key concepts. In trading, every indicator should not be used alone because it could send false signals. So, if you want high probability trading, I mean, if you really want to increase your chances of getting a winning trade, you should combine indicators with price action. And by the way, CCI works great on every asset, commodities, crypto, forex, stocks, and on every time frame. Whether you're using a 15-minute chart, an hourly chart, or even a daily one, CCI can adapt. Let's take a look at the high base strategy. It starts with a clear uptrend where price stays above the 50 SMA. Then the market enters a sideways phase forming a consolidation, either within a defined support and resistance range or in the shape of a triangle. The entry signal comes when price breaks above the high of that base, in other words, the upper boundary of the range. Now, Here's an optional but powerful confirmation. If the CCI is above plus 100 at the breakout, it signals strong bullish momentum, making the setup even more reliable. As for managing the position, you can use a trailing stop to lock in profits. For example, with the parabolic SAR, only if CCI confirmed. All right, let's take a look at an example on TradingView. Here, we can see that the initial trend is up, and price is trading above the 50 SMA. Let's see what happens next. Okay, if we look a bit further, we can identify a resistance level right here and a support level along this trend line, which forms a triangle. Price is consolidating within this range. Then we see this candle breaking above the previous swing high plus the CCI is above plus 100, indicating strong momentum. At this point, we can open a long position on the breakout. We place the stop loss just below the previous swing low here. 
since the CCI is above plus 100, we'll manage the trade using the parabolic SAR, those little dots you see on the chart. We will exit the trade when the SAR is above the price. As you can see, momentum is strong and price moves sharply higher. We exit the trade here. When the price crosses below the parabolic SAR. Now, let's look at what happens next. Price enters another sideways phase, with this resistance and this support level forming a new range. Price is consolidating, and the 20 SMA is sloping upward. Next, we get another breakout above the previous swing high, and once again, the CCI confirms strong momentum. So, we enter a long position here, place our stop just below the range, and since we've got CCI confirmation, we'll once again use the parabolic SAR for the exit. As you can see, it turns out to be another great trade, and we're still in it, since the parabolic SAR hasn't been crossed yet. So, that's two strong trades using this simple but powerful price action strategy with CCI. That's the end of this one. Go try out the CCI in your charts and trade smart. See you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe.